Heisel leze do řiti a dostane povýšení. Sir? City is going to hell. No loitering, Crank. Keep hanging you around and I may think you are up to something. Celý oddělení je skorumpovaný. Hey, I don't need this today. No handouts. I can help you with something, yes? Someone you lost is watching over you. Change is difficult, but rewarding. I'm looking for Laborio. It is me. You have come for the magic? I'm hoping you can help me make sense of something. A strange encounter I had. A man hiding behind a screen in the sewer surrounded by followers of some kind. His name is Richard. He used to be partners. Richard is alive. You found him? I'm not sure what I found, but I know I didn't like it. Richard had a way of depriving me. Things I wanted to say and do, but I couldn't. I am so happy he is alive. Richard and I, we... I was sure that he... I should have known. Richard always said the show must go on. There was nothing entertaining about this. What is he doing down there? How is he doing it? I have not seen Richard in many years. We developed a show together. The evolution of stage hypnosis intensified through technology. Adapted versions of the KC and DDE designs. A social augmentation? In conjunction with modern hypnotic techniques, something much more powerful than mere persuasion. The communal construction of an alternate reality. For three hours on a Friday night, we guided people into brave new worlds. Why do you think Richard is doing this? What's his end game in trying to hypnotize people in a sewer? I cannot say for sure, but after the incident, after the way things began to change, Richard said he was going to find a better place. I did not hear from him again. The loss of so many people that we knew, I believe it broke him. He didn't seem very broken to me. More like a guru of some kind, with way too much control of the people in that room. No, Richard is not capable of hurting anyone. At least, he was not before. He was an idealist, the kind of man who... The worlds we created together on stage, they were more beautiful than the reality. The technology Richard is using to do all this, how does it work? Binaural beats. Richard balances his source transmission through a series of emitters that use targeted neural oscillation to stimulate specific areas of the basal ganglia. Right. Let's assume I'm not familiar with that particular ganglia. Richard is using a system of emitters that can intensify and adjust his frequency, his message, his intent. Imagine it. He can make the very soul of a transmission pierce into the brainwaves of his target audience. I don't need to imagine it. I already know it's terrifying. These worlds you and Richard created through hypnosis, what were they exactly? They were whatever people wanted, created together with the audience. Every night was different. After the incident, we, we were made to stop, treated as criminals. It was not right. People paid for their tickets and embarked on imaginative explorations. We did not hurt anyone. We would never hurt anyone. I'm not sure that's still true for Richard. His audience now, I'm worried they may be trapped. Is that something he could be capable of? Creating a world and keeping people there indefinitely? It depends on the personality. If someone is susceptible to the message, and if Richard keeps repeating it, it is conceivable. 
Tell me how to stop Richard. Richard is conveying a vision of himself, of themselves, of an alternate community they are building together. If it is Richard's goal to keep the people there, the only way to free them is to make them see through it. Well, how do I do that? Last time I talked to him, it didn't go so well. The signal he is transmitting, its effect is limited to a specific radius. To the room where the audience is, where the emitters are installed. Wherever Richard is, must be outside of that room. So if I get to him, I'll be able to say or do whatever I want? Yes. But promise you won't hurt him. Please. I'm not promising anything. Something tells me if I do get in there, he's not going to be content to just talk. There may be a better way. The emitters, they are somewhere in the room, yes? Okay then, so wait. You wait. Just wait one second, please. Wait for it. Wait for it. Where are you? Come. Come to me. Wait. Okay. I think I have what I'm looking for. I think I have found what you need. Ta-da! They are scrambling devices, our failsafe whenever things got ugly. Attach them to the emitters and it closes the ability to amplify. Good night. Show's over. Your gods are but men again. And that'll be enough to make the people in the room see through them? I hope. If they have been exposed for a very long time, you need to help them to see. But please be kind to Richard. I don't know what he has become, but I know what he was. A decent man once, who simply believed that the world should be better. We all believe that. But there are better and worse ways of going about it. Not come soon enough. Hide your magnet. We got a metal man. Santo has been a sure bet for a long time, but at all cases. What? Poor trash, having to live with the Hansers. Can't shake the shakes.
Disney could use some help. Initiated. Access granted. Good people don't disturb Richard. The ladders are there to tempt us. Snooping is Good a symptom of the troubled why. soul. Upstairs is eternal no, dark. Seek clarity. Seek only peace. Richard must be left in peace. Good people don't go upstairs. Do not disturb Richard. Upstairs is the tunnel down. Good people don't disturb Do the Seek all the Get away from there!
What are you up to? Upstairs is the world of death and clarity. Good people don't go upstairs. Get away from that! What do you think you're doing? What is it you have there? Just a dressed up sewer. The skeptic. He continues to cloud the room with questions, with doubts. He contributes nothing. He may say nothing. I'm gonna say a few things whether you want me to or not. We got a lot to talk about, Richard. Now that we can finally talk. Why have you... What is it? that offends you so much about our attempt to construct something better. You mean your attempt to control people, amplifying your hypnotic techniques with some kind of social enhancer, keeping people from talking back, from questioning you? I don't think you understand. Please. These... These people want to be here. We need each other. How ugly must the world have looked to you, to go to these lengths? To actually believe that this was some kind of alternative? I... We... We chose to start over. To escape what society had become. What it was turning us into. You may not understand, but they do. No, I understand. You sought out people who were vulnerable. People like you who had reasons to run away. Who do you think they are? There are no missing persons reports. I didn't rip them from warm meals and bamboo linen. For those who wander the sewers at night in search of answers and alternatives, this is as good as it gets. No more hiding, no more running away, no more feeling abandoned. They need me. They need somewhere to feel welcome. And the ones you don't welcome? Those who try to question or resist, like Viznik, like me? You have no problem rejecting them, threatening them, installing gun turrets to ensure they can never pull back the curtain. The guns exist only to protect the ideal. 
Even the most peaceful communities must be prepared to defend themselves. This isn't a community. It's a magic trick. You've been hypnotizing people, selling them on some fantasy of what you wish the world was like. He... he tricked us? I don't understand. None of it meant anything. Please, don't leave. He can undermine me all he wants, but he can't change what it's like up there. The decommissioning, the segregation. They will round you up and catalog you. They will do worse! People need to be guided. Now more than ever. All these things you're trying to run away from, trying to pretend away, no one should have to face them alone. But this isn't guidance. This is just replacing one totalitarian nightmare with another. I... I went too far. He preyed on us. By a few thousand miles, yeah. And it's time to turn around now, Richard. Time to shut all of this off. I don't understand. How could we be so foolish? It seems foolish now, but we had no choice. Everything he said to us, the way he said it, we had no choice. Why us? Why were we drawn here and not others? I, I don't know. All my life I have been drawn. I remember feeling that nothing outside of these walls was real. It was comforting. And now, now we must go back to it. The laws, the people, everything I was running from. At least it is real. I remember coming to the sewers to escape the authorities. It was months ago. He made us feel safe. It was like a dream. A horrible dream. He... He tricked us, made us see things that were not real. I feel so foolish now. He snuck into our minds and fed us some vision of himself, of ours themselves. We live in a world of brutality.
I believe in what we were trying to do. The rat. Richard can no longer persuade anyone of anything. The others are free of him now, just like you are. I'm not a model of separation. I questioned him, and then I... I'm not one of them anymore. But I'm not... not one of them. You were right to question him. The fact that you were able to at all when others couldn't says a lot about your strength of character. I... 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 I became I again. Temporary signal failure led them to perceive me as a threat. I started thinking differently. I realized how... how... how there's... there's two eyes in Viznik. That's when I figured it all out. It's a good thing you did. God knows how far this might have gone if Richard had been left unchecked. How many others might have come and been persuaded to stay? We came to him because... because we didn't fit the so... So social schematic, hounded by laws, hated by revolutions. He offered a way out, but there is no way out. Exile from exile is exile. You're out now, Viznik. There should be nothing more drawing you to this place, to him. You can go anywhere you want. You can do anything you want. I want to be... I want to be... I am alone. I want to be... I want to be... I am alone. Do you know the story of the rat and the button? You'll assume you're the one without a choice. But remember, given limitless access to a feeling that is always the... the... devotionalized, the rat kept pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing. The rat kept pressing and pressing and pressing and pressing. 